Back on the Sports Max Zone, just 25 minutes left on the show today. It's time to look ahead to the Winter Olympics that will be carried live on your home of champions starting on the 4th of February. Starting today, our team has put together a feature package to ensure you are ready when the Winter Olympics curtains are unveiled. Here is Mariah Ramharak with your first feature on the Winter Olympics. today's special feature as we get ready for the Winter Olympics set for February 4 to the 20th in Beijing, China. In today's feature, here are some facts you need to know ahead of Beijing 2022. These are the second games to be held during the pandemic after last year's Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Beijing will become the first city to host both the Summer and Winter Games. Approximately 3,000 athletes will compete in 15 disciplines across 109 events. The Chinese capital of Beijing is the official host city of the Games. The Beijing National Stadium, commonly referred to as the Bird's Nest, will host the opening and closing ceremonies. Let's not forget we are still in the middle of a pandemic. So the Games will be held in a closed-loop system, which will only be accessible for participants. Those that are fully vaccinated can enter the closed loop without quarantining, while those who aren't vaccinated will need to quarantine for 21 days upon arrival in Beijing. Medical exemptions will be granted. Now, if a person returns a confirmed positive test, they can no longer compete and will be isolated. In order to protect those involved in the games, tickets will not be sold to the general public. As we wrap today's feature, a reminder to stay tuned to Sportsmax for all your Winter Olympics content and coverage. Your feature there just brought back some huge memories for me about the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympic Games at the Bird's Nest, which was the scene of many uh, glorious moments for the Caribbean, led, of course, by Usain Bolt and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. And there was Richard Thompson as well. Yeah. He was second in the 100 behind Bolt, but covered himself in glory, um, you <laughs> know, chasing Bolt in a world record run. Yeah. But these are the winter games now, so they'll be on ice. Yeah, they'll be on ice. And, you know, we have had the privilege here at Sportsmax to talk to a lot of our athletes that are representing the Caribbean at this Winter Olympics. And it just makes me feel so proud that, you know, we're looking at the Winter Olympics, but we have our people who will be rooting for, you know, we have Jamaica being represented, Trinidad and Tobago, Haiti and Lance. It's just going to be an amazing time. And what even a better place to watch it on your home of champions. We'll be ca carrying all the, you know, the live action. Yeah, and you're right. There was a time decades ago when you wouldn't think of a tropical country being involved in the Winter Olympic Games. But that all changed with the Jamaica bobsled team in 1988. Um, and... Um, since then, we've seen you know other countries um, with athletes who are based in the Caribbean, um, preparing themselves for bobsled events because it's a it's a very physically demanding um, event that has to do a lot with strength and leg power and so on. So a, a lot of athletes, track and field athletes, would have had the background anyway of strengthening them themselves physically. Um, the other side of the coin is that they're. Caribbean performers who are based overseas, some of them weren't born in the Caribbean, but they grew up in, you know, in climates that 
you know, afford them the opportunity to compete in winter games. And they have given themselves the opportunity to offer themselves to Caribbean countries to represent them, and many of them making qualifying standards. So they are legitimately competing as Caribbean representatives at the Winter Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember the last Winter Olympic Games were pretty exciting, and I know you're going to enjoy your features coming up as we build up to these games starting on the 4th of February. Definitely. And just to tell our viewers that, you know, they should tune in every day as we get ready for the Winter Olympics because you will be hearing from the athletes around the Caribbean that will be representing us and it's a good way to support each one of them. Yeah, still more to come on the Sports Mag Zone and uh, we'll be back after this with the closing 18 minutes of the Sports Mag Zone for this Monday.